Hey guys, I have a really exciting review for you guys today. It is Bo Peep Table Lamp from Target, exclusive, got it today. Let's give an exclusive first look. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey guys, it's Today I Grew Up doing another video review. I'm really excited because I went to Target and I was able to grab a Bo Peep lamp before they sold out. They only had two in stock. So I'm here in Southern California. Um, this was announced last night at midnight. So please check target.com and look, um, look up Toy Story Bo Peep table lamp. So first off, you can see Bo Peep comes wrapped up like this from the store. It is like a cellophane plastic paper. It's, I don't know. I, at first I was thinking, is this porcelain? Is this glass? What is it? But I believe it's plastic. So inside the lamp it says, hey there, I am removable. Lamp with detachable figurine with stand. And here's a picture of Bo Peep. We also get a really nice like ticket. It looks like a carnival ticket or something. It says Bo Peep and Sheep Lamp, which is cool with the Toy Story 4, Disney Pixar logo and Forky. On the back it just has the company and barcode and other information. You also get a set of instructions to teach you how to install the bulb and also information about what kind of bulb to get. E12, so essentially if you go to Home Depot, ask for E12 size or a G45 LED bulb, no more than 25 watts. I went to Home Depot and these are the ones that they recommended I get for this. So I'm not sure, all these bulbs are different. Uh, it came in a two pack, so that was cool. These bulbs were like about, with tax, about eight bucks for two. So inside it has this cap that you want to tighten so that this doesn't spin or move. And then you screw in the bulb like that. And that's an easy installation. Here we have Bo Peep unwrapped and looking pretty amazing. It feels plastic all the way around. Um, definitely plastic. This piece right here is metal. Um, everything else seems to be plastic except for this. This is the cloth material, but the, it looks really nice um, all the way around. I think this bow peep looks awesome. To give you a better idea of size, next to a um, tape measure, it's about 15 inches tall. So definitely you need at least 15 inches of clearance for your bookshelf so that it fits. So taking a look at the base, if you measure with the measuring tape, um, I would say give it at least nine and a half to 10 inches clearance on your shelf because it is pretty wide. Height wise, the sheep are about almost four inches tall. Now for comparison, here's the Toy Story collection um, sheeps and here is the brand new lamp sheeps. And I don't know, it looks, it looks pretty cool that they kind of kept this, the sculpts kind of similar, although this is not a Thinkway product. They definitely copied elements of it, and I think it looks really good. So if we rotate this lamp here, you can see more of a side view. Um, unfortunately, the sheep do not come off the base. You can't replace the sheep because this doesn't come off at all. So we're going to rotate it here so you can keep seeing the details all the way around the lamp. This is, like I said, is a metal piece. Everything else appears to be a plastic. Uh, nice flower detail. I really like the color as well. I think they did a really good job on painting it. I don't see any paint defects or anything weird like that. On the bottom of the lamp, it is a fuzzy kind of felt, black felt there. So it kind of can grip the counter. Heightwise Bo Peep, when measuring with a tape measure, she is just about herself, nine in, right shy of nine inches. And then with the staff, just shy of 10 inches. This is the wow factor of the, this lamp is that Bo Peep herself is removable. So you can take it off the base, Bo Peep right off like this. And she has holes in the feet there. And now this is what Bo Peep looks like without being on the base and then put her on this stand that also has a grippy black felt on the bottom to grip the surface, just like the bottom of the lamp. Can connect to these metal spikes here and 
she can stand revealed off of her base and on her stand and really cool that you can remove her and it's almost like a, a new toy or a new display it's almost like you get a toy and a lamp for one price which is nice so it's cool because you can place this anywhere as well it's definitely more of a display piece but I think the details are amazing on it even though the scale might be wrong you can take Toy Story Collection sheep three sheep and it'll still pair nicely with this Bo Peep lamp vinyl figure so this vinyl figure looks incredible I think for it just being a decorative lamp, it didn't cheap out on the details of creating an excellent bow peep for display because they could have cut corners on this because it is just a kid's lamp after all, but they really treated this like it is a collector's piece. The head sculpt is still looking really nice. Blue eyes, painted eyebrows, the lips are even painted as well. I mean, it's probably, it's not as good as the Toy Story Collection one, but you even have the hairline details on there, which you have on Toy Story Collection Bo Peep, which is very impressive. Um, the staff is definitely permanent in her hands. You cannot move that out of her hands. She still has her dress detail in there. It's all solid plastic, very firm plastic. Nothing, nothing is flexible, but that's fine. It is a great display piece anyway. Now here's the bottom view. They even, um, Paid attention to painting the pant legs, the shoes are there, and um, nothing is articulated, but wow, I just love that they uh, kept all the details, um, even though it's just a solid plastic figure. They definitely did a good job with displaying the details. Here so you guys have an idea of body proportions of how big this Bo Peep lamp figure is with Toy Story Collection Bo Peep. There you go, that is the size and body proportions of the face and head sculpt. So quick size comparison. Um, you can tell that Toy Story Collection Bo Peep is definitely a lot bigger than the, to the Bo Peep figurine that we got with the lamp. Realistically, it's not really fair to compare these two because one is a $100 Toy Story Collection Signature Bo Peep, while the other one is just a figurine that comes with a lamp. But even though even though they're totally different figures, they still both look great with the lamp. So the lampshade here is made of a cloth material, so it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, I like that the sheep are detailed just like the movie. Looks like this lamp jumped out of the movie. It just looks really amazing. Here's a closer look at the lampshade once the lights are on. It glows very nicely. I really love the sheep pattern. It looks like the sheep there are jumping over that fence. Looks really good. I love the way it glows. I think it looks even better with the light turned on. So to turn on the lamp, um, it has a switch, the rotating dial here. And it's just a quick, Slide of the wheel and Bo Peep lamp turns on, on and off that way. So it's very simple. It looks really nice. I really like this lamp. I think it'll complement any collector's room, any kid's room, anybody who's a fan of Bo Peep. It just, it's a beautiful lamp. It looks awesome. The detail looks fantastic. This is a really good quality lamp and it's a must-have for all Toy Story fans. This is what Toy Story Collection Bo Peep looks like on this lamp. Unfortunately, Toy Story Collection Bo Peep is just a little too big for this lamp. But I do say, although it's too big, you can pull it off and I don't think it looks too bad. I honestly think it doesn't look too bad. It could be worse. So if you guys want to put Toy Story Collection Bo Peep on this lamp, you can, it's just keep in mind the scale is a little bit too big for this lamp set. This is what Bo Peep looks like once the lamp is turned on. So you can see what it looks like if you guys would like to display it this way. So I guess the bonus to this is this Bo Peep is detachable. Um, so you can put your Toy Story Collection Bo Peep on the lamp if you wanted to. Um, the problem is I feel like the scale is just a little bit too big 
but it does look really awesome. I think it does come together nicely, and if you're a big Toy Story fan and collector as myself, you're probably going to want to display it this way. Although, this Toy Story Collection Bo Peep, I would find a way to secure it better because honestly, it's just kind of placed on there, and so it could fall. So keep that in mind as I balanced it on there, I, I would be worried about this falling over. For size comparison's sake, here you have Toy Story Collection Bo Peep with the new Bo Peep lamp, and here you have Toy Story Collection Sheep and that come with Bo Peep. And I think they look really cool together, um, so you guys can get a better idea of scaling and how big these figures are. Compared to the lamp, I think it looks excellent. And here we have the light turned on. The lamp looks amazing in dark lighting, so if you guys were here, you could definitely see that it looks really nice in a nighttime setting. It's a great uh, table side lamp or a night light almost if you got a dimmer bulb. If you got a less um, bright bulb, it could be a great night light as well. And I think it looks amazing. Now this is how Bo Peep looks like displayed in daylight with the lamp turned off. I think she looks really good like this. So even if you don't want to display it with the Toy Story Collection Bo Peep, I feel this looks really good in broad daylight just like this with the figurine that it comes with. And it's a really good quality lamp. Although it's plastic and light, it doesn't feel cheap. It's very dense in quality and the sculpts are amazing. So I think this looks awesome. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of you, the viewers who watch my videos, like, subscribe, and give me all the love in the comment section. I really appreciate you guys. Because of you, I keep this passion going and this channel moving, and it's all your support that I'm able to do a great job. So thank you very much. I have some live action that I have coming soon. I have some more Pop Funko reviews and some other things coming down the pipeline. So if you guys like what you see on this channel, please like, subscribe, turn on that alert, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.